Hi everyone! It's Lynn from Lot 95 Designs and I thought I'd shoot a quick little video for you today. Uh, this one is for Christy. She asked to see a process video of a page so I'm just going to do a little quick tutorial here for you. There's my cover of the new Praise and Pray Pray Journal. What a mouthful that is. And when I did the outside cover, now my inside is blank so I thought well we need to jazz that up a bit and I've done a couple other pages in there I'll show you later so I thought I'd work with the jelly plate this is jelly arts here's a small one and uh, this is just a five by seven and I use those for my individual pages because they seem to fit really nicely right about here so I don't cover up the words so I used that on that page, but for this one, I call it Big Betty. I got her out. So I'm just going to smush some paint and roughly go, how much do I need? About right here. So that's not a whole lot of paint, so I'll try to calm down a bit. So how's everyone today? I'm having lots of fun. It's pouring rain. And my three puppies, thankfully, I think, are trying to sleep, maybe. And if they start barking, I apologize. And while I'm doing this, I just wanted to tell you ladies, I love all the pages you guys are posting. Seriously, you guys have ideas that I don't even begin to have. When I create the journal, I go into one kind of frame of mind of what am I going to create and what's colorable and what should the elements look like. And then to work in the journal is a whole different process for me. It's like I'm working in somebody else's journal. And um, the other day I got so overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, my heart. I just, I started to cry just seeing you working with something I created. It blew me away. I was totally dumbfounded. I didn't even know how to deal with that. I'm making a big mess here, so I'm just going to add a little bit more pink. So just rolling it onto the jelly plate. Buck, buck. Okay, let's see how this does. Do we got enough? Yep. So just press it on. And um, one of the ladies, was it Lynn or Denise, that was using a cutting board from the dollar store for a jelly plate? Gosh, who would have thought of that? Certainly not me. So let's see how this worked. Oh yeah, that's kind of pretty. So we'll put that there. I'm going to dry that up. And um, I have these elements from the colorable sheet. And I thought, hmm, I wonder what happens if I would jelly plate it. So I'm going to try the tags. And that's what's great about this leftover stuff is you can just do other things with it. I'm trying not to cover up the actual outline of the tag. So I'm going to try to do the little pieces. Oh, that's kind of cute. And just gently grab some in the paint. I thought it would be kind of fun to do these. And then I wouldn't have to color them. Haha. <laughs> and you know the other thing I'm really loving? Oh, that one didn't turn out good, but that's okay. We could just move that around a bit. Um, I was thinking this morning as I was working in my journal that... I love printable elements. When I get a collection or something like that, a scrapbook paper, I'm always looking and going, okay, well, what do I do? Like, I best use this element here and that element there, and I don't want to waste them. But then you know what? With printables, you just print more. It's fabulous. I'm going to print some more to color and make some more stickers. So what I'm going to do now is just dry this up, and I will come back. I'm gonna go wash my little jelly plate and then we will move on to some decorating. All right, I'll be back in a flash. And we're dried. So usually what I do with my process is I grab a couple paints, I'll throw some stencils on my desk and go, this is kind of what I wanna use. This little stencil is called Mini Well-Rounded. It's, I use it a lot. It's good for little dabs and daubs and circles and 
whatever you're going to do. So that's my plan for these two pages. They're not going to be back to back in the journal because this was the front cover. So there's going to be things in between it, but I am going to carry my writing through both. So I'm just going to do some little green dabs in here. I'm looking for my dauber. Here it is. Martha Stewart. Yes, pouncer. I call it a dauber. Martha calls it a pouncer. So I'm just going to take the stencil and make some circles with it. I uh, have a lot of writing to go on here, so most of this is going to get covered up, but I do like to have fun with the backgrounds. So just kind of do whatever makes you happy. If you get a little paint smeared, does it matter? No, because you're going to put something else on top of it. Lots of fun. So again, I have to tell you ladies, and Joel, love you too buddy, that I love our group so much. I belong to several Facebook groups and there is no group that I have connected with like this one. You are just all so sweet and lovable and supportive and I'm so glad that we're on this journey together. To me this is about spreading his word and his love and getting people closer to their faith, whatever walk you're on with God. So it's the journal came to my heart maybe six months ago and took me a while to do it and have the, I guess, strength and to be vulnerable enough to put it out there and see if people did like it. And I'm so, so thrilled that you guys are all on this journey with me together. I've made such great friends already just in the couple weeks we've been together chatting on Facebook and sharing on Instagram and um, love love my new friend crafty sparkle oh yes and i love that you're sharing a bit of yourself with us in the group and oh, i'm just so touched it's you ladies are a miracle to me so just taking some paint here i actually uh cleaned up my little paint tray today yeah me and i think hmm not so sure what I want to do. I want to do some dots, but not big dots. Maybe I'll grab this one. Sorry, I'm not too organized. This one is called Mini Circle Explosion. And I'll leave links for them. And just different size dots. Just put some everywhere. Like I say, I've got a lot of journaling strips to go on here. So, and I've got some of the elements, some stickers cut out and ready to go on the page so I'm gonna do a little bit of this and then start working on putting the elements down and then see what kind of other little doodads I might need to um, do to finish it up this is just a sea sponge I got it at the dollar store you can get them at like Michaels or Joann's or I'm in Canada so we have Michaels but uh, Hobby Lobby or whatever you ladies have wherever you are cheap little sponge and they're great they wash great I've been using this for probably two years I took a big sponge and ripped it into tiny pieces so um, let's dry this up and also with the journals I would love feedback what do you like what don't you like what do you want to see uh, we've had a little request we're gonna have sheep in the next one those cute little sheep oh yes we're gonna get some of those going what kinds of themes would you like I'm always up for ideas or what kind of freebies do you want to see in the group oh gosh let's start a post I love making freebies the June freebie it will be up soon because I, I make something and I can't keep it to myself no no I can't oh and you know what I might as well do these while I'm here I love to get as much done as I can while I'm messy and dirty And uh, put a couple there. I don't know if you can hear my Facebook dingling in the background. That we're going to cover up. But then I can always take black and write over top of it. So we're okay. So great. We're done with that. Um, now I'm going to get all my journaling strips. I have a ton of them. 
So I'm going to start putting them all down. I'm not going to make you watch it all. I'm going to grab the Yes Paste. One of my favorite glues, this stuff, when it's on, it's on. When it's dry, it's dry. It don't come off. So I'm going to do that and get my stickers ready. Then we'll come back and do that and some stamping. Back, I've put some of the stickers down and uh, just these. And now I'm gluing down my paper strips. And I thought as I was doing the last couple, I'd just uh, give you a brief history of why I did this journal the way I did. Um, I was working with seniors with Alzheimer's and dementia when the doctors think that a virus attacked my inner ear. I was an occupational and recreational therapist and uh, which made me with this thing that attacked my ear it did permanent damage so I am dizzy a lot. I have 30% uh, balance on my left side and which means I get crazy dizzy and I'm unbalanced a lot. I also have essential tremor which means my hands shake a lot. So I don't do my journaling by writing. I do probably 99% of my journaling on the computer either on strips or journaling cards and so I couldn't have like a regular journal where I just kind of did my thing I needed something where it was adaptable for me. So this idea for me really works. It's kind of like my art cards if you've seen any of those videos. And um, I just, yeah, it's, it's easy for me to do. And I really, really love seeing all the ways you use them. It's, it's awesome. So the S paste is down. The, um, this is just a prayer that I found. I'll read it to you. I really like it. It says, God in heaven, I know that you are for me, and so I come humbly and boldly before you now. Break through, O oh God, in my life today. Move the mountains that stand in the way of my promised land. Take away that fear that keeps me stuck and trips me up. Motivate me to do the next thing you have for me so I can take the land by faith. Fill me with a renewed sense of your great love and promise of provision. And Lord, awaken me to the needs around me that you've assigned me to meet. Help me to make you visible to a world that so needs to see you. So glad we are in this together. I love you, Lord. Amen. So I just wanted something on the front and back covers. And then my little book will just fit into here. And then... We'll just have that. That's kind of cool. That almost matches my next prayer page at the back. So what my next process is, is going around all of these. I just use this crazy black pen. I bought colored pens one day and uh, just for doodling. And when you're shaky, it makes doodling fun. And it's just a big velocity. It was like a dollar at Walmart. It's like the best pen. It writes over glue and paint. It never gums up. It never gets sticky. It's a crazy little thing. So I just always outline all my stuff to make it uh, pop off the page. And so I won't do all that and bore you. Then I just like to add little details and they're really simple. This is just a little polka dotted stamp. And um, I'm just gonna throw some black ink on it. I don't want these borders. I learned that in my last page. So I'm just gonna put some ink on the middle and just randomly stamp it onto my page. It doesn't matter really where it goes or what it covers because you can still see it. And um, I just, I like these little black dots for some reason. And I just stick them down wherever and it's making a border for me and my phone is dingling I'm sure you can hear that too so do that and then the other thing I like to do is just some white little splotches and I'm just going to use this again back to the white paint and just do splotches in places that I know where my writing is now a little too much there and sometimes I like to cover up you know, the little embellishment now and again. How do you like these little washies? I think those washi doodads are so cute. 
so I'm just gonna do that. I don't like those lines, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to cover that up. So I'm just gonna do that. And just some random stenciling. Art journaling is about you just creating. I call it my creative freedom because it doesn't matter where it goes or it's not in the perfect triangle or it's not drawing your eyes somewhere. It's just having fun and creating and just doing what feels good. So we've done that. I'm going to just take a second, outline all my things and I'll come back for the very last step. So oh, my battery's flashing, my camera's almost dead and um, what I'm doing now is just some little wiggly stamps. They can be any kind of stitching stamps or whatever you like. I like to do um, just random little stamping to add pizzazz to some of the elements. I think this is like a little doodly thing and it's quite cute. So I like to just put it here and there. And uh, yeah, so um, I was gonna mention, so with um, my dizziness, I'm working with a therapist now and we've kind of got it a little bit under control and doing some physiotherapy. It took him a while to diagnose it. And so I no longer work with seniors with Alzheimer's. I'm at home now, so I do art full time. So it's kind of fun, but uh, I love working from home. I always have and sometimes worked outside the home. We have our own business. My husband's a consultant, so I help him with that. And so, yeah, so I love to hear everybody's stories and I love that you're sharing. It's, gosh, it's so beautiful to see all the interesting projects and what you're doing and how you do it and, ugh. I have so many ideas. There's so many ideas I've written down that I'm so going to scrap lift. So this is just this uh, right here, just these little wiggly squigglies. And it just, there is really no rhyme and reason to them. I'm just putting them wherever I think that they should go and just kind of filling up the page a bit. And uh, that's about it. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I hope you loved the video. Technique Thursday's coming up in a couple days and we're finishing off the faux dory. So that's gonna be fun. Um, thanks again. Thank you for being in my group. I just, I love you guys. You're so wonderful. So here is the finished page. Kind of messy, kind of artsy, but it's all about doing your thing and how you communicate to the Lord through your art. So I will see you in the group. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye-bye for now.